Hi, Rez here. Today we're going to be looking into arrays. What are your secrets? We have add, range, clear, contains. What do they do? Okay, so let's dive in and find out. We're going to be going into a couple of different actions as well as tips and tricks that may help you in Playmaker. So let's get started. I have these cubes and I have these empty game objects. So what I'm going to do to start off is that I am going to go into each of those cubes, put them into an array, and then send an action to each of those cubes individually from the array. So let's see how to do that. First off, we got to put those cubes into an array. But first, before that, I got to tell you what an array is. An array, as somebody once put it, is sort of like a bucket that contains things. You put things into your bucket and you go on an adventure. So let's say that this array is array bucket. And as you'll see here, we have array type. I'm going to change this to game object. We have size. What size? This is all the objects that the array can contain. In this case, I'm going to keep it to zero because you can add to it. I am not going to set a tooltip or a category. If you have questions about that, ask me in the comments or Discord or wherever, and I can explain that. But for this instance, I want to add each of these cubes into my array. In this case, I'm going to use a get next child. So I'm going to get each cube and store into my array. I'm going to use the owner and I'm going to store next child. This is array cube child and I'm going to do a loop event new event loop and I'm going to create a finished event all right so we got loop and we got finished and we can loop can we loop onto itself is that possible we have a loop and we have finished. So we have loop and finished. All right. Well, we got an array add. So we get array bucket and we add the child and let's test it out. Our array is empty. Okay, something didn't work here. The reason is because get next child executed its loop event, went on to itself, and kept on doing this until it got all 10 of them, and then it finished. It never allowed array add to work. So we do have to go into a new state and do the array add here so that it would loop, finish, go back, and once it's done with that loop, we should be complete with all the arrays. Oh, it did not work. It did not work. The reason for this is because we can check the script. We have a finish function, but the finish function only works if you use this finished event. If you create your own finished, it will not work. So that's a little tip. In case you type in finished and you don't cap capitalize each letter, it will not work. So let's test that out and see if I'm right. And it worked. We have all our cubes inside the array bucket. Now, what can we do with that? Once we're done, we go into the state, state two, and we have this handy action array for each. And I'm gonna select my bucket store item no thank you and i'm going to run an fsm that i created scale array once that's done we're going to use finished capitalized and we're going to go into a new state let's see what that does mm -mm -mm. all right so it didn't work either let's see why Let's open up what it's supposed to do. So we have our set scale 
for array object. And what I was trying to accomplish here is to set the scale of each of these objects to 1.5, but it did not work. So why? If you're new to templates, finish FSM has to be placed. It says right here, stop this FSM. If this FSM was launched by run FSM action, it will trigger a finish event in this state. But we have another issue, array object. How do we put in this array object? Well, if memory serves, we have to go to array object, select inspector. Let's see if this works. And now we have a new array object, just like that. Wow, it only did it for one of them. It only did it for cube nine. It didn't go for array for each store item. Did we need to store an item? Oh, it's because we got to store the item. We can actually store it as a new one. Array stored item. And then we put in that array stored item here. Whoa, all right, nice, it did it. And that is array for each. Okay, so have array add, array add range. Let's go through a couple of these. We have the array bucket. We can add a range of different items manually. So that's how that works. We can also use the array for shuffling why would you want to shuffle? It's because let's say we, let's just stop right here, delete this finished, and see that the shuffle, it actually works. It shuffles them all up so that in case maybe these were uh, some enemies that you wanted to shuffle and use at random, then you can do that as well. But we also have array get random. So it would store a random arrays right here and you can also get the index the index being that 0 through 9 which we know is 10 and put that into the index no repeat and set to every frame we have shuffle we have sort sort items in an array so what does sort do let's see if we had arrays that were Let's create a new, uh, new array. Let's call this array numbers. And I'm going to manually set these as 3, 2, 1, 5, 4. All right. What happens if we do... Oh, check this out. All right, so it doesn't show up here. For some reason... Got to put it back in for it to work. So if we do array sort, it sorts them in order. Cool. Okay. We can also transfer values from one array to the other. Nice. And more importantly, we can get an array from one game object and store it into another game object. Array get FSM. Specify game object, game object two, FSM name. I think we just left that at FSM. Variable name, array bucket. And we are going to create an array here. Let's see, can you create an array here? No, you can only create an array in variables. So array, array bucket two because we're original set that to game object because it will not work otherwise copy values and let's see what happens empty i knew it i knew it was going to be empty why because what we have to do is put this into a new state 
because it's doing it right away. It's not doing it every frame. So we got to send an event. Mm -mm. We can create a new event, a new event saying, hey, give me bucket. And so once we're here and we've got in the loop complete, we're going to send an event, send event by name to game object specify yes all right and what do we call it hey give me bucket let's double check let's add that transition hey give me bucket give me that bucket all right and there we have it we have all the fsms it didn't do these scale because I turned it off. But let's just review. That should be the end of the video. We will review just to see if there's anything else that's important that you can use to go on your gaming journey. Array resize. Let's just look through this one. We can set that bucket to zero and just remove everything. Even though we got everything, now it is set back to zero because we have resized it. We can also use array, just to clarify, array resize resizes that array. So if we have nine objects in there and we set that new size, if we have 10 objects there and we set that size to four, then it would resize it to four. And what you could use this for is if you sort a high score system and sort that numbers in order but you only need the first four then you resize that to four great and we can also delete at that should be self-explanatory you delete at the index that you want you can also use array contains i use this all the time you can say if it contains bucket five which cube five which we know it will you can run an event based on that. You can also get the index of that event. Oh, this is a really cool trick, okay? So if you have an array and let's make another array, key. And we have nine here. We say, Cube. Oh, this is a. This is should be a string. I'm gonna set this to a string. You'll see why. Ten. But just imagine that all of them have a bunch of information. This one will say cube five. Yes, that's five. Okay, so. Just so, just to give you an example, just so you know what's what's happening here. I don't want to be as mysterious as the arrays. We have cube four, five, and six. All right. We have cube four, cube five, cube six. We set these events. Cube four, cube five, cube six. All right. Now. If array contains, what are we doing here? We're looking for cube five. If it's contained, we get that index. Oh boy. And we, uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna remove these, remove these. We're gonna do a uh, finished, maybe a contained. Maybe we'll change this to contained. It does contain. Is contained which we know it will work send does contain we're gonna get that index we need that index bucket index and what we're gonna do is that if it contains that here's the logic behind this hear me out 
if it contains 5, we're going to get the index of that. And then we're going to go into another array and compare that number between our second array. And in that second array, we're going to get that text. So array get. Just follow along, follow along. Array key. Index from the one we just got. Bucket index. Remember right here, bucket index. We're checking to see if it contains this one. Bucket index. Okay. All right. Still with me? And we're going to store that value. We remember it's a string. String event. We're sending an event. And then right here, send event by name. Self. String event. So we know that if this object is contained, if this one was selected, then it will go into the next state and run that event. Let's see if, let's see if this madness works. It went to cube six. It went to cube six. Why? Why? Cube, cube one, because cube five is cube six. Like I said before, like I said before, this is zero. One, two, three, four, five. What? Q5 should be five. So then why? Five? Five? Did I set the key wrong? Yup. You all knew, didn't you? You all knew I said it wrong. But alas, it still works. It sends the event, which should have been Q5, to the right state. That's all part of development, all part of testing. So you try to get things right the first time. And hey, that's how it works out. So that is arrays. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. That is how I use arrays. You have array for each. Array get. Array contains. Array clear. We didn't go through that one. Self-explanatory, I think so. Remove. Array resize. Reverse does the same thing of reversing all the objects in the opposite order. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.